Hello and welcome to Noah and Ava in New Zealand and everyone else that's watching. Let me show you a few of the lovely owls we get here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Meet the great horned owl. No, he hasn't got horns. Those are tufts of feathers on the top of his head. The great horned owl is one of our biggest owls. He has lovely yellow eyes and dark mottled pattern on his feathers which looks like tree bark. And see the little hummingbird coming to say hello to him? <laughs> now, the, the barred owl is very well named. See the lined pattern on his feathers? They like bars, stripes, and they help him blend in with light and shadow in the forest trees. They're often really hard to spot as they're so well camouflaged. Most of the owls we see here have yellow eyes, but the barred owl has lovely dark, nearly black eyes. Owls are very quiet creatures, except in the breeding season when they hoot to attract their mates. And the call of the barred owl is often, who cooks for you? <laughs> so if you hear that at night, you know a barred owl is in the trees nearby. Isn't it beautiful? Just resting in that shade of the trees. I think those are birch trees. Now the best way to identify a barn owl is by the heart-shaped face. Can you see that little perfect heart around his eyes and then down to his beak? They have the lovely golden brown feathers with a cream-coloured face and chest. Here he is sleeping in the crook of an old oak tree. But there are farm fields nearby and a few barns. I love barn owls. Now here's another little hummingbird and he's telling off this northern sawwet owl. Now this is a very small owl. It's about the size of my fist. And although they're very tiny, they're full of character. They're really cute little, little owls. In the cypress tree just sleeping the day away they like to hunt at night too most owls like to hunt in the early morning or at dusk now just have a look at these yellow eyes of the short-eared owl one of the most noticeable things about owls are their eyes usually front facing hunters eyes and just look at those soft fluffy feathers that allow silent flight I think this is my favourite owl, the short-eared owl. They visit us in the winter, they migratory birds, and they rest and feed on our shores, and they hunt the marshy areas for voles and rodents, and watch, watch them fly over the marsh, like a little fat moth, flap, flap, flap. I absolutely love watching these owls in the winter. I think that's the northern... Harrier calling, they often have to fight for prey in this area. And the, this sleeping here is a long-eared owl. It's quite a bit smaller than the great horned and has different, slightly different feather patterns. But quite beautiful. Now this is a northern pygmy owl. It's another quite small owl, maybe a little bit bigger than my hand. He's a very fierce hunter. Can you see his glare? <laughs> Notice his little blood-stained beak and his bright yellow eyes. And he has two dark patches on the back of his head. You can just see a bit there. That resemble eyes so that any predator coming to attack him from behind thinks he's looking at them. <laughs> and I wouldn't attack him with eyes like that. Ah, oh, he's an absolutely beautiful little owl. They're also migratory visitors in the winter. Now to end with, I want you to meet Jewel. One of the birds, most of the birds I film are wild, but Jewel is an ambassador at Owl Rehab in Delta. She has an injured wing and can't fly. And the rehabilitation place look after her and use her for education. Isn't she beautiful? I'll put up a link to the rehab facility in my description so you can find out more. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments which is your favourite owl.